In 2017, Suleyma bin Tamim's uncle suffered a heart attack that forced him to rely on a wheelchair. Understandably, he found it difficult to perform his day-to-day -day tasks, something Suleyma observed with great attention. However, she believed, based on what she was learning at the High Institute of Medical Technologies of Tunis, she could help him. I shared the story and the situation with my friends and um, we came up with the idea and why not um, using the technology that we, are, that we have studied in uh, the university in order to build a product that would help people in the whole world. So they worked hard on their idea and eventually developed Movobrain, which they describe as a combination of software and hardware solutions. The intelligent control system uses sensors and software to interpret the user's movements allowing the wheelchair to be moved precisely and intuitively. The small and optimized electronic board, which they also developed, is installed into the wheelchair controllers. This board uh, could uh, connect to the mobile application to receive data from the mobile application and receive uh, the commands to pilot the wheelchair. So we have four driving modes. When uh, we connect the mobile application to the electronic board, the, uh, the user can pilot his wheelchair by his brain, face grimaces, his voice, or manually using uh, buttons. The team's groundbreaking system enables disabled people to control their wheelchairs using brain signals, ultimately improving their independence and mobility and giving them a better quality of life. The brain mode that allow the user to pilot his wheelchair with his brain that to just concentrate to uh, the wheelchair go uh, forward to blink his eyes to uh, stop the wheelchair and blink his eyes to uh, in second time to turn the wheelchair. Movo brain enhances mobility and autonomy for wheelchair users. 30 units are ready for distribution in Tunisia. The goal of the product Move Brain is to make the life of people with special needs easier and a happier life. The prize was awarded as part of the European Inventor Award 2024 and the team received a 5,000 euro prize. Experts say their technology represents a major advance in the field of assistive devices but also shows the researchers' commitment to inclusion and innovation in medical technology. Motivated to help by alarming World Health Organization statistics which estimate that approximately 80 million people globally may require wheelchairs, the Tunisian team is working hard to address this growing need. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.